Yo, what's up Giants fans, hub watchers, YouTube subscribers, Twitter and Instagram followers. It's your boy No Name back at it with our first regular season video of 2019. Football is back guys, especially for Giants fans. It's been a long wait, a long and arduous off season, you know what I mean? taking crap from everybody you know at the beginning even we were wondering what was Gettleman doing with this team saw a lot of our stars walk you know got some good draft choices that a lot of people questioned in general a lot of people in the media other fan bases and whatnot kind of think the Giants should be the laughing stock of the NFL right now and I I completely disagree you already know me y'all saw both of my prediction videos I think we're gonna be a good team this year Albeit a transition year, we're still gonna be good and way better than everybody expects. Um, real quick before I get into the actual preview, because this is my Dallas Cowboys versus New York Giants preview video, I just want to say, guys, the only reason I haven't really been covering every single bit of Giants news that's taking place over the course of like the last four, three, four days, uh, you know, with the cuts, the 53 man roster, uh, the BJ Goodson trade, and whatnot is because college has started back for me you know and i really gotta pick and choose what videos i make now i can't exactly make a video about everything because i don't have the time i gotta prioritize you know uh college first i i didn't even have a, that much time to make an update video for you guys i was planning to make one but that didn't come to fruition so real quick just get that out the way and now let's go back sunday this sunday is just four days away because i'm recording this on a wednesday 425 p.m. game Giants at Cowboys in Jerry World to open up the stadium the stadium to open up the season where we've seen like it's almost like we've been doing this for the past eight years or so I know it's like the past six out of the past eight years or something like that but whatever the case is this is almost NFL tradition and a lot of people are counting this out uh, Zeke I got a notification like late last night uh, first, it was an unconfirmed, unconfirmed source. Then, when I woke up this morning, I went back and on Twitter, even Rappaport was tweeting it too. Uh, according to them, Zeke has signed a ninety million dollar deal. I think it's like five years, ninety million, or whatever the case is. He's become one of the highest paid running backs, if not the highest paid running backs in the league now. Um, I'm not surprised that. Uh, uh, sorry for the noise in the background. That's my turtle, guys. She's excited for the Cowboys and Giants, too, man. She's a football fan, too. But I'm not too surprised Jerry got this deal done. There's been reports coming out since, like, Thursday saying they want to get a deal done over the weekend. It was a bit delayed, but still happened. And even if Zeke doesn't show up for uh, Sunday's game, because this is extremely short notice, if, whether he shows up or not, I think uh, it's not that he's going to be a non-factor, but I think because his absence from training camp you know his absence from OTA is basically his absence from the NFL and NFL level of training you know in terms of getting hit the coaching all that stuff anything you could think of NFL worthy he's been absent from it so long it's gonna take a while for him to you know acclimate himself back to the uh, environment that is gonna be a little unfamiliar to him so like I said he's not gonna be a complete non-factor because he is Zeke Elliott but he's definitely not gonna be <laughs> You know, he's not going to pick up right where he left off. I'm actually expecting, you know, like a fumble or two, you know. I think like our defense could get a fumble out of him. I definitely think this is like the perfect time to actually stop him and mitigate his impact because he's been absent for so long. And he's going to be a big, uh, big, big part of the Giants' defensive game plan. Uh, I still think we should go attack the run first now that Zeke's there, more so than uh, try to get Dak to beat us in the passing game. And we've, we've tried that before, you know, it was a di completely different defense last year, but we did try, uh, in the first game of last year, I think we did try to beat Dak by the pass, and even week 17 last year, we tried to, to get Dak to beat us in the passing game, where it didn't work out too well. So I still say go with a proven plan and stop the run, and the Dallas Cowboys offense will stop. I think we, I, I really think we have a good chance in winning this game. I'm just going to come out and say it. I was going to save it until the end of the video, but I do think we have a really good chance at winning this game coming out 
you know, causing the upset, shocking the Cowboys, shocking the NFL, quite frankly. Because they can't say anything if Zeke plays and we beat them. They can't. There's no excuses at all. They can't tell us, oh, you know, Zeke wasn't there. The Cowboys weren't at their full power or or something along the lines of, oh, guys. Well, you know, they still might use this excuse. It's just week one. You know, with seven, there's 16 weeks of the season left. Let's see what they do then. But either way, we come out and we beat the Cowboys. It will send a couple of waves, shock waves through the NFL. People will take notice. People will take notice. And we can get off to a really quick, hot start. But even if we do lose, I don't mind it. I know a lot of fans would, but I don't mind getting off to a slow start. I don't mind starting, say, 2-2 two and two and then working our way up to a hot streak. You know, but a lot of people don't exactly want that. And there's definitely, like... A feeling of this game can decide how our season goes at least the you know the first half of it it could help us start off like right away on a winning streak or as it's been for like the past seven six season we, we start off slow always start off with a loss week one I can't remember I think the last time we won week one was in 2016 but as one year out of like the past seven so even if we go down it's not like it's the end of the world so I already talked about the defensive game plan. Uh, it's a young defense anyway. I mean, very young with a lot of potential. I definitely think at the end of the season, our defense is going to be way better than it was at the beginning. And there's going to be growing pains to go through. There's going to be a couple blown coverages. There's going to be miscommunication. There's going to be times when our guys just forget how to tackle. I mean, like these growing pains come with a young defense. But I am expecting... Um, Good games from the defensive line, particularly Dexter Lawrence and B.J. Hill. B.J. Hill had a great rookie season. I think he set the Giants' rookie sack record. Now he's in there as a full-time starter. I, I think he can do good. I'm not saying, oh, he's going to get, like, three sacks this game. No, I think he could get some nice good pressure along with Dexter Lawrence, who has proven, in my opinion, to be a formidable threat in the defensive lines with people, you know, double-teaming him in the preseason and stuff. I expect good games from them, and I think most of our pass rush is going to come from the inside this game anyway. Cowboys offensive line is stout, absolutely one of the best in the league. The best way to get pressure on them is not from the outside, from their two amazing tackles, but actually from the inside. And when you push that pocket from the inside, you know, Dak starts to run around a little bit, and that's when our outside linebackers, Lorenzo Carter... And, oh um, my god, I hope Marcus Golden starts, but that's, you know, when our outside linebackers, Lorenzo, and I'm guessing Kareem Martin, have their chance to go and tackle Dak, you know, or sack him or whatnot. It also gives our D, uh, secondary some time to, you know, catch up in coverage if they're falling back. I expect a good game from Janoris Jenkins. He always plays good against the Cowboys, and I still think he's one of the best cornerbacks in the league, so I expect big things from him. Offensive-wise... Saquon is going to do what Saquon is going to do. The The Cowboys can't stop him. And for Cowboys fans that always pound out uh, that they held him to 28 rushing yards or something like that, they forget to point out that he beat them in the passing game with 80 receiving yards. So whether it's in the pass or it's in the run, Saquon is going to do damage. I expect nothing less from him. Best running back in the league. One of the best players in the league, to be quite frank with y'all. He will find a way to cut that Dallas defense up. If he can't get a run through the inside or bust one on the outside, Eli's going to throw to him in the passing game. And speaking of Eli, I think he's going to have somewhere between 250 and 300 yards passing, you know, probably a couple touchdowns. I still think we're going to get one on the ground. You know, I, I have a feel if we win, it's going to be like a 24-21 win. And if we lose, I'm thinking like 23-17 or something like that. I'm thinking, you know, moderate scoring game, not too high, not too low. It's all seems to be how we always play the Cowboys, and that's really how it is when you go up against a great defense. But I still expect Saquon to have a nice opening weekend. Uh, Eli, you know, good game, you know, around 250, 300 yards, couple touchdowns. His main target this game, I don't think, will be Stern Shepard. I, I have a feeling it's going to be Evan Ingram. We're going to be relying on Ingram a lot anyway for the first four weeks with Tate out. But this game specifically, this game specifically, because... Uh, Byron Jones is now a cornerback, I think. Because of that, and you know, he's, there's going to be a lot of coverage on Shepard because he's obviously our best receiver out there. Not to say that he's going to be a non-factor. I still think he's going to haul in a couple of good catches, maybe one of those touchdowns. But I think you know Evan Ingram would have the best opportunity 
this game to get wide open, to get downfield, to get a lot of big plays, and to beat the Cowboys defense, which in Week 17 last year, he was kind of unstoppable. You know, he was tearing them up. So standout players on offense for me are Saquon and Evan Ingram. And this is obviously a great test to see how good our offensive line is. It's obviously better than last year. How much so? This is a Dallas defensive line, which is one of the best in the league. How would they hold up against it? I'm not expecting zero sacks. I'm going to be honest with you guys. It would be kind of foolish for me to think that they're going to hold off the Dallas defensive line completely and Eli gets sacked zero times for the game. But I am expecting no more than two. You know, and even then, that's kind of a high number. But, you know, we got we to gotta keep our expectations a bit more realistic sometimes. It is their first game, and they are also another part of the team much like the defense that I think at the end of the year is going to be way better than they were at the beginning of the year. But that's what I got for you guys. Let me know what you all think. This is definitely a winnable game. I mean, the cards kind of fell in our favor a little bit with Zeke being gone for so long. And, you know, he has extremely limited time to prepare for week one. Even if he's not there with Tony Pollard, I think we can stop him. And even if the Dallas Cowboys don't want to show it, there's definitely a bit of drama in their locker room with all the contract talks and whatnot. So the cards are a little bit in our favor. And there's everybody doubting us too, which is great for Giants fans. You know how we do when we get doubted. But let me know what you all think. My final prediction, I'm going to go for the win, guys. I'm going to say 24-21 Giants. I'm out here. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Put your comments down below. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Until next time, I'm out. Yer.